check rolling all right guys so today we're going to be doing something in the southern coast of kenya that you've probably never thought of doing before and it goes something a little bit like this Before we head off to the ferry to leave Mombasa, we found this small shack along the road and we're here to fill up our tanks before we get going with the trip. And as usual, our favorite Mombasa snack, Viazi Karai. So you grab one of these, you dip them in the hot sauce. I wish I could live in Mombasa forever just for this food. Oh my god. Cheers. So initially our plan was to get to Diani via Tuk Tuk, Ferry, then Matatu but then uh, last May yesterday these guys from a company called Generate Africa actually reached out to me and they were like hey we noticed you're in Mombasa we do rentals and why don't you take a car from us and I was like oh, that would make life so convenient uh, yeah so we're actually in one of those cars right now and I didn't pick my license so Deep is the one who's driving. Uh, so basically to get onto the ferry with the car it's 120 shillings and ferry is basically the only way you can get from Mombasa to Diani. So fortunately for us we didn't get traffic to get onto the ferry. Usually the traffic during rush hour is so much it could take even up to three hours to get onto the ferry. But anyway now we've come across we're in South Coast. I'm gonna call this section road trip stories with Deepak and Rajbir. <laughs> so <laughs> when we were getting onto the ferry we got stopped by a cop okay and the cop goes like license please so Deepak takes out his license and gives it to him he looks at it for a while and then he says Deepak <laughs> and I said yes <laughs> and then he had the biggest smile <laughs> <laughs> and like I'm not being mean or anything this cop had magnifying glasses <laughs> for his freaking spectacles <laughs> and his teeth were like kind of crooked and it was just like <laughs> it was so freaking funny <laughs> <laughs> like I would have never thought of a Kenyan cop putting the biggest smile on my face oh my gosh it was freaking amazing <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> yeah Deepak kind of got us stuck on the beach what were you thinking? I was being very adventurous. <laughs> so basically what he has to do is dig the tires out. <sighs> hey guys. Genius. I was being adventurous. I, I don't job. have any other explanation. Good job. Yay! <laughs> we're out. <laughs> Okay, that wasn't so bad. So, you're probably wondering why we brought a car onto the beach in the first place. So, we're actually at a place called TV Beach here in South Coast and we're planning to camp on the beach. That is why Deepak nicely decided to bring the car on the beach. I don't know what he was thinking. So, if you didn't know, yes, you can camp on the beach in Kenya. So, I mean, beautiful beach, waking up in the morning to an amazing sunrise. About prices, this place you can actually come with your own tent and if you're coming with your own tent you pay 500 per person to camp here but if you need your own tent you pay another 500 and they'll give you a tent so they're actually helping us to pitch the tents um, I've never camped in my life before so I don't know how to pitch a tent do I feel like a spoiled brat uh, kind of but I don't know how to pitch a tent and we're on the beach I can't risk pitching it myself might just end up collapsing in the middle of the night because of the wind this place is so beautiful so right back there there's a lot of trees and there's a few palm trees over here back there is like a whole uh, mini forest if you will and then right over here is the ocean but right now the tide is quite low um, we're expecting it to come up by about 4 p.m <sighs> the photos that we'll be able to take wow i'm so freaking excited about this and of course waking up to a sunrise directly opposite from our tents so really poor planning on my end if we hadn't got this car we'd have been in such a rut because there's no place to store luggage and 
<laughs> I need to go to Diani because I'm also doing something really cool there. Uh, but the distance from here to Diani is like 30 minutes just by car and there's no tuk-tuks outside. Uh, if we hadn't got this car, oh my gosh. I don't know what we would have done. So thank you to the guys from Generate Africa. You saved my life. So because of my poor planning about this whole camping trip, we don't have any food supplies nor do we have drinks. So first things first, we've come to Diani to the supermarket to get some supplies. Let's go shopping. Just kidding, honestly. If I was to buy all that, we'd go broke so fast we wouldn't even be able to continue with this trip. Anyways, on to the main reason why we're here in Diani. We're heading to a place called Sands at Nomad. And I'll show you why in a bit. This here is the reason why I'm in Diani. I'm going deep sea diving. <sighs> so I'm actually going to be deep sea diving tomorrow and uh, basically the last time I dived was back in Thailand one and a half years ago so I need to do a refresher course today before we go diving tomorrow and oh my gosh I'm so freaking excited so basically what happened was I met someone a few months ago who told me that deep sea diving in Diani is actually really amazing and he told me that I need to try it so I checked out a few companies in Diani that offer deep sea diving and I found diving the crab who were one of the most professional ones. Okay, so one of the coolest things is that I was really worried that I had to wear contact lenses because I'm blind AF as you guys know. Uh, but these guys actually have numbered goggles. That is such a relief, I tell you. Well, the refresher course was somewhat of a success. I came out with a little bit of a headache, but uh, it's probably because of my sinuses. Hopefully tomorrow will be a little better. But oh my gosh, oh my freaking gosh. <sighs> Good morning guys and welcome to my crib. Well, not really because this is actually where we spent our night. As you can see, Deep is still sleeping. It was super hot in the tents last night. No one could sleep and a lot of bugs. Ugh. And also in the middle of the night, it started raining. That's why it's a little bit of a gray day today. Um, I'm kind of worried because I'm not so sure how that will affect the diving today. So we literally had the AC on on this guy though whole night good morning Deepak wake up he's deep in his sleep so the tent that I was just in actually wasn't mine it was Deepak's mine before I actually went to the car to sleep uh, I didn't close it so when it started raining it actually got flooded <sighs> was this a mistake though Sausages and bread for breakfast. How you doing, man? Uh, <laughs> not so good. Uh, but it's okay. We're having sausages for breakfast. <laughs> Fortunately for us, Jasper knows how to light a Jiko, so that's what he did. Man, in this trip, so many things have gone wrong. We didn't have oil. We didn't have a pan. Ugh. As in, like, talk about unorganized. Well, breakfast was amazing. It's time to get going. This car's AC is a lifesaver. So now it's currently 7.30 a.m. We're heading to Diving the Crab. My dive is actually at 8.30 a.m. Sky is cleared, so I'm hoping that the water visibility is high. 
Me. <laughs> oh man, I feel, I feel like a model wearing this thing. And then the other thing is the sky is clearing up. My energy levels are rising. Let's do this. And that's Tay. <gasps> She's gonna fill me with that. Woo! <laughs> that's a that's a Canon G7X in an underwater housing. Better than a GoPro. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> All right, so we've got our first briefing. So we're gonna be doing two dives today, and we're heading on to a place called Wanamochi for our first dive. It's gonna be about an hour long. Uh, the sky is a little bit grey again. I hope the visibility underwater is good. I'm nervous, but I'm excited. Shower. Shower. I feel like one of the dudes from Baywatch. That was so freaking incredible. And we saw a lot of like turtles and finding Nemo, was it? Yes. We saw finding Nemo. <laughs> Found fish and there was so much coral. Oh my gosh. So initially I went full retard. I was swimming too hard and got tired. So they resurfaced me and explained to me that I'm swimming too hard. And then we went back in where I started swimming a little better. And oh, it was too good. Cheers! Bilhanti! <laughs> so we're currently on our way to the second dive site. So we're at this place called Galu and apparently it's a haven for turtles. <laughs> ah, thank you, man. You guys, woo, woo, <laughs> and we are back on land. Oh, guys, if you're coming to Diani, I highly, highly recommend you do some deep sea diving. It's so beautiful. Like I'm comparing to Thailand because that's where I deep sea dived uh, for the first time, and the coral here was a lot more vibrant. So many more fish, turtles. Oh my gosh, and. Just, yeah, the variety, your species and the corals, so beautiful. And if you're diving in Diani, I highly recommend diving the crab. They're super professional, uh, super fun to dive with. I mean, our guide was super, super fun. We're back at the campsite and I have to say, man, the weather is scorching hot. We were actually talking to one of the diving guides and he was telling us that it, this is the hottest it's ever been in South Coast and that's probably the reason why we were having such a terrible experience last night because of the heat. Uh, so if you guys want to come and camp on the beach here in South Coast, make sure to come during uh, one of the cooler seasons so that you don't have that problem. However, I need to tell you guys that this place, there's two things. If you want to come and camp here, you'd need a car because the roads are extremely rough and this place is quite isolated so public transportation cannot bring you here. And the other thing is the car would really come in handy when you want to store things in the night, your bags and all your luggage and stuff while you camp so that stuff doesn't get stolen. And then another thing is if you're fussy about toilets, this place's toilets are kind of substandard, uh, so especially in the night when it gets infested with a lot of insects. Well, I guess maybe it's a camping usual, so make sure to carry your bug spray because, yeah, you're gonna be facing a lot of insects while here. And guys, in case you're wondering if there is a place to get some food, yes, there is a restaurant over here, but uh, the food is actually quite pricey. So you're better off just bringing your own food and uh, a jiko and cooking for yourselves. So we paid a beach boy to create a bonfire for us. So we set that up and we're going to eat the leftover sausages from the morning and enjoy the rest of our night here. <laughs> but we're going to be sleeping in the car tonight. Oh my gosh. Go Jasper, the light bearer. High five. <laughs> Cheers guys! Cheers, Cheers bro! Cheers! To an awesome camp! Woo! Awesome camp! And guys with that, thank you so much for watching. If you think Tusker should sponsor me, leave a comment about that. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. If you're new here, 
consider subscribing and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Fan of the day.